Let's talk about building a team. One of the things I'm very proud about is our team at Souls for Souls. Building a team starts by hiring the right people at the beginning. You know, most interviews go the wrong way. Most interviews, the person that's doing the interviewing talks the most of the time. The best way to do an interview is listen most of the time. I have a rule of thumb when I interview somebody is I ask very open-ended questions. Tell me about this, or tell me about this situation here. How did you handle that? I talk maybe 5% of the time. I let the person that's interviewing for the job talk about 95% of the time. So why do I do that? Well, I want to understand really the DNA inside of them. I want to understand how they're going to fit and how they're going to meld into the team. You know, once somebody told me that they reacted really crazy and got nasty with somebody in the situation, quite honestly, that was a red flag. I didn't hire that person. Because I listened 95% of the time and I talked 5% of the time and asked the questions that got deep inside what their DNA and how they would react in situations within our organization. The other rule I have with hiring people is hire the best and pay the best. Get the best person out there. Oftentimes, I say slow the hiring process down. Let's talk to some more people. Because the more people you talk to, the smarter you're going to be as a leader and as a manager by learning from each individual person that you talk to. So this person starts. They're on your team. You got them set up. How are they treated the first day is important to you in the long-term relationship you have with that in person. So that person starts. The first thing they should do is have a complete tour and an overview of the organization one more time, a little bit deeper than they did in the interview process. So after they do the tour, maybe review the handbook with them. Have them sign off on the handbook and have them know what they're expected to do on a daily basis. Another key thing is let them know when they're getting paid. You know, I always stress that to people that your payday is every other week in the organization because that's important to them. You don't want people worrying about when their money's going to come. So treat people right. Treat people like you want to be treated overall. So six weeks have gone by. You know, I call it the dashboard. How is this person doing? When you drive a car and, you, and your fuel engine light comes on and says, hey, you need gas, what do you do? You stop, get gas. So do your employees need gas? Does your associates need gas? How's their battery running? Are they on the plus side or the negative side? Are they charged up? Are they pumped up? And what can you do to help them develop to be better people within your organization? Or what's their temperature like? How's their temperature working within the organization? How are they mingling? How are they relating to other team members? And how can you adjust that and help them adjust that with your organization? And most importantly, are they in park, in reverse, or driving forward? So what's your dashboard look like with your team? Know your team. You know, know all about their families. I'm not saying you have to go out to dinner with them every Thursday or do something with them outside of work, but know about their personal life. Understand their DNA. Understand what their life's like outside of work. One of my associates in donor services, boyfriend, plays in a band. I often ask her, hey, how's your boyfriend doing? How's the band doing? You know, another my, one of my associates, Aubrey, my executive assistant, enjoys talking to her father. Her hours are 7 to 4. I usually get there at 6.45. She's often late. But from 7.30 to 7.35, she always calls her daddy because that time's important to her. And I have respect for her to leave her alone during that time so she can have the relationship she needs to with her father, which is really cool. So know your employees. Know their team. Know their buttons. Know their highs. Know their lows. And encourage them to be better people. You know, we talk about discipline a lot in business. You know, what about catching people doing things right? When's the last time you said, hey, great job to somebody? When's the last time you recognized somebody in front of the team for doing something right? You know, oftentimes you do have to let people know when they're doing things wrong, but to make an effort, a concentrated effort to do things right. One of the best compliments I get, and I've gotten throughout the years, is when people steal my team members. It's a compliment to me when a major organization comes into a small company or a small charity like mine and offers somebody a job away from the organization. Often, managers get mad. I encourage that person. I send them off with the highest regards because I want them to know that they have to do the best thing for themselves and for their family. Several weeks ago, one of my key employees was recruited away from, from Souls for Souls to a major firm in town. You know, this person joined us 12 months ago. 
right out of college. Before he came to work for us, he was slicing turkey in a sandwich shop and making sandwiches. But he came on board with us in a social media position. Did a great job, awesome job, and really catapulted Souls for Souls from the social media standpoint. Because of his success, and because of the success Souls for Souls had, somebody saw that and recruited him away. And I was asked by multiple people, are you upset? Absolutely not. I wish him the best. I sent him off with high regards and certainly keep my door open for him if anything is ever needed from him down the road. But my point is, let those people go in the highest regards. Let them know that you appreciate what they've done and that you're gonna support them throughout their next ventures in life. So that's it. You know, people are important. They're the most important asset in any organization. And as you grow, take the time that it takes to develop people, to motivate people, and execute the concept that you need.